What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again here with my husband. Hello, husband. How's Hi. it going? How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh -huh. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Today, we are here for a Maxor video. Mm -hmm. Chavez has one on his channel. It's fantastic. It's Hopefully, great. it's up before mine is up. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. It's a, it's a great a great video so but that yeah. one is about monster hunter world, world. not rise yeah, it's about world so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out our my video is an incorrect summary of ultra kill act one somebody recommended this in my comments yeah and i was like oh yeah i'll definitely check it out and i clicked on it very confidently i have no clue what the hell ultra kill is what is ultra kill yeah what are we watching? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Um, now, I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna go with 2D action game. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Kind of like uh um oh god, what's that game that we played? Roguelike. No, 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 no. We were shooting things. Yeah. Metal slug? Metal slug. Oh yeah, maybe it's like metal slug. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I have no clue. So I am walking into this. I was gonna say blind as a bat. But then somebody was like, but uh, not all bats are blind. And but they that. don't have good vision. <laughs> the ones that are not blind are still... Blind as a as a naked mole rat. I think naked mole rats are blind. We're going to scream our way through the vid. like na naked mole rats. They rub... Naked mole rats? <laughs> naked mole rats, they rub themselves into... I don't know if you've ever seen them like together. They like rub on each other to like get around. Are you saying you want to rub on me? That's what I'm saying. We're going to rub our way through it. That's inappropriate. We're YouTube. watching a Max video. I'm gonna get demonetized. I didn't tell you to take your shirt off first. This was rubbing arms. <laughs> <laughs> limited, <laughs> limited ad suitability per YouTube. They're like, wait a minute now. I'm excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get started. It's John 1633. Wow. John 316. Says that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, mm -hmm. that whosoever believeth in Him shall never die, you, but have eternal life. Are you ready for this video to be life. slightly blasphemous? Like at the very start? <laughs> I'm ready. Like to start out with blasphemy? I'm, I'm chilling. Okay, play it. In the world, you will have tribulation. Also, this video contains a lot of okay. John, uh? Yeah. Mankind is a failure, free will is a flaw. Oh, oh, oh! Machine, you will answer now. What is the wrong will with him? of God? For I am the righteous hand of the Father. What? What does that even mean? I am You call shooting a coin a martial art? This is Ultra Kill. It is a game. What? You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. <laughs> Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampiric Nikon, programmed with one singular goal. Kill Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Thus, we embark on our journey into the deepest, darkest pits of hell, where we can find normal things that make the game very fun, featuring such polygonal challenges as Crash Bandicoot and uh, puzzles of color. The devs are a little bit eccentric. For some backstory, this game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore, what you are about to see is canon to the Christ verse. I will not be accused of blasphemy again. With that being said, <laughs> my bad. My bad. It was just real blasphemy. Yes, that's all I'm saying. The game goes harder than diamonds. And after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see it all. I like how he included the warning about there's a lot of flashing lights in this video like every Maxor video isn't full of flashing lights yeah it's just like a, a strobe light like i would not show your video within a hundred yards a football field length okay of a person with epilepsy a person related to a person oh, who okay. knows somebody who's being taught by somebody whose cousin has a dog who gets walked you, by somebody with epilepsy. I feel like Maxor's intro mm -hmm. is basically 
what people who listen to EDM listen to. Like when people go to EDC, mm -hmm. that's what they're listening to. It's, it's just they, a bunch of that. I feel like they their brain is doing like the Maxwell video edits because of the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Blood is fuel, hell is full. Cool. Okay. Okay, here oh. we go. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome back to, uh, fucking Undertale. So the game begins in a hallway, and I do not have permission to use the restroom. When I am lost, I always right. keep a lookout for my two best buddies. Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson. So yeah! the game just kind of gets going immediately. I have interrupted elevator music time. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic mechanics as well as being disabled, preferably yeah. from a high drop. In this game, explosions and gore are plentiful, but as per my design as a sentient fucking GoPro, my gears must be greased with the blood GoPro. of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which means the more blood, the better. It is the only thing I know for heal. There will be bloodshed. And as far as healing wow. systems go, this is the best one because it forces the player to actually play the game to restore their health. But that's enough about mechanics, because it's time to fight the, uh, oh no, oh god, it's the, the funny rock. Face? Post this rock to instantly become funny. I think my copy of Elden Ring is broken. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, the power to throw coins. Because why aim at enemies when you can aim at a target the size of a fucking coin? This shit is amazing. The hit is guaranteed, what? regardless of the coin's location. Even what? if that coin's location wow. is space, or just the inside of an enemy, a few times. But besides that, the mission is pretty... The mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little <laughs> too normal. One could call it suspicious. Have you heard of the hit game Among Us? We have to vent like the sus imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Now, as I would soon learn, there is a reason this is a secret mission, because now it is able to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. Uh, I am in great danger. Do not Google Danger Force Season 2 Episode 1. <laughs> in this level, we need to find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Uh, because if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite part is the persistent darkness and a horrifying droning noise as it creeps every corner. <laughs> really ups the entertainment <laughs> factor. Now, of course, you can shoot it, but that will only set it back. It is uh -huh. inevitable. Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> Let's just, uh, get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the Markiplier maze. Shinji, right. crank that soldier boy. Uh. Okay, level three. <laughs> Let's just uh, take a look at the catalog. Never mind. So to make it through this mission, we have to use our coins with a lot of nuance and subtlety. Just like Ted Kaczynski, ascending up the normal staircase very competently. We meet the only problem that money cannot solve. That's right, road construction. And for that, yeah. we're going to need high explosives. Normally, that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the fence. What? They're here to shoot my dog. This is the Jason oh, enemy, notable for his geometric style headgear and a uh, free shotgun. His AI is a single-celled organism. I want you to fucking guess how I fought him. Following this fight, we acquire our next weapon, the Remington Grenade Launcher, which we can use to finally eliminate obstacles to progress. But that isn't what's important about the shotgun. What is- I really- oh, shotgun, okay. He was talking about a grenade launcher. Yeah. If you give me a, a grenade launcher in the game, I'm gonna use it almost exclusively, just to be clear. Like, if it has unlimited ammo, uh -huh. I'm just- I'm blowing everything up. We learned this lesson in Doom, that the game <laughs> will have to force us to stop <laughs> Either assault <laughs> rifling or grenade launching or shotgunning your problems. You want, is it a puzzle? I'm going to shoot it first. <laughs> I have uh, in that order: grenade launcher, assault rifle, shotgun. Yeah. And if one of those don't work, then we'll think about doing it your way. I don't like to do what games tell me to do. We don't even like, like throwing to... grenades. No, no. I want to shoot it. Yeah. What's important is that I can uh, punch the bullets. What? <laughs> okay. You see, Ultra Kill is a game that lets you parry all kinds of attacks, and shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile, so uh, what? guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same-day shipping. It makes the bullets what? go faster. I really what? hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm going to use this for the rest of the game. And what? if that hurts your exactly. eyes a little bit too much, don't worry, it can get worse. Upon diligently researching <laughs> the uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's uh -huh. right, we've made a suicide vest. I'm going to join my racist uncle in Valhalla. I find this mode very useful for, uh, launching myself into the minus dimension. The, uh, the Linus dimension. Does anyone need some tech tips? Yo, what is happening? I, uh, so is confused. he okay? Oh my god, he's hitting me. Linus tech tips is the guy who builds computers and tells you how to fix computers. Okay. This white man that is all over this dimension pasted on these cubes. Yes. His Linus, 
lioness tech tips. Okay. I don't know what he has to do with this video. Um, you know, I am typically very confused in Maxor videos. Okay. I am more confused currently yeah. than I normally this am. This is another level yeah. of, of joke. Brain is melting a little bit. The gritty. Oh, I see. This is one of those platforming levels. My favorite plat- That's my brain coming out of me. <laughs> it's fucking spurting out. <laughs> <laughs> the people who understand this video is like, is like Maxor, the guy who helped him edit it or like review it, and mm -hmm. like a goldfish. Yeah. Everybody else is like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Platform is YouTube. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. That's a weird way to spell Twitter. <laughs> what the fuck? You have Uno. No, I don't. It comes free with your Xbox. I don't yeah. have Uno. You have fucking Uno. Cerberus. Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball, Aww. but I was not expecting him to dunk that shit. This man is actually balling. He caught me wearing them fake jays. Oh. Now, this may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. The lesson is up. Use crack. You know, like me. Whenever I use the computer, do not under any circumstances touch the ground. So, after dodging his many dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach halftime, causing Spongebob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god, it's my Damn. two favorite basketball players, Ornstein and Smo. I I didn't even know you could play Uno 2v1. So you do have fucking Oh no, I've put him in his red state. He has absorbed the power of Ornstein. Looks oh. like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon, money. <laughs> Purchased. Never fails. Shinji. I really like how they filled this room with, uh, more statues. Is he saying you have Uno because he's looking at cards? I don't know. <laughs> It is finally time to enter the elevator, also known as California. Hell has got to be a good time. After all, it's where my subscribers live. Oh man, I bet it's got lakes of blood and shit. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to hell. We have uh, realistic bird noises and also the uh, machine. I have taken a selfie with the funny rock. All right, never mind. Uh, Honestly, this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls. But you know what wow. I find really relaxing? Construction equipment. After all, the nail gun is great for putting people to sleep. Uh, Honestly, I wow. wish I had more of an explanation, but it just kind of liberates their insides. This rifle is uh, not chambered for nuance. Hey guys, I'm Ian from Forgotten Weapons, and today we're going to be killing a man. Just uh, don't give the statue anything. That actually worked. Don't I really hope there. this isn't don't what I think it is. There. Oh no, it's worse. I have to do fucking puzzles. Oh Max, you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you'll love all 26 of the puzzles. Here's a puzzle oh. for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought the level was supposed to be relaxing, but it's just so... Oh, oh. they're not even cooked right. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, who do I have to fucking... Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So, uh, welcome to the fire enemy. It has this unique ability called the fucking jump scare. And no, I cannot turn off the screaming. They were designed without self-preservation. You know what? I don't want to go to the family barbecue. I think I belong in the, uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh, cool. It's, a uh, an abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. What? It's a regular sized rat. He's celebrating yet another birthday bash. Sir, s stop resisting. <laughs> it had to be done. That Let us fun never fun. speak of this again. That was fucked up. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Welcome to oh. the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking asking. How about we just, uh, Chuck vibrate it no until its organs explode? Out. Ew. I'm going to forget this is here. All right. Moving on from the Disney business model, we enter a challenge that offers us a choice. Blue team or red team? Comment your team below. And if you do both, you get to fight whatever this shit is. I love being able to understand my screen. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Anyways, to finish this level, I chose to take the harder route because as a gamer, it really hits my erect penile pecker. Oh, hey, look, it's a skull. Oh, God. Go, go, gadget coins. My favorite detail is that if you do the hard route, the game just drops you inside the easy route. So you're forced to do both of them. Nothing a little bit. Wow. can't fix. Man, what a nice looking rock. Hey guys. Oh. What is going on and what Oh no. Oh, it's oh, fucking oh. handicapped. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Hideos Mass fight, also known as your mom. Got him. Now I could spend Damn. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. That's how you feel? <laughs> Just had to sprinkle that in there, huh? Okay. It's like Doom plus bad bad joke simulator. <laughs> it's like <laughs>
spend time explaining this boss, but that requires that I understand it. This shit is goddamn incomprehensible. I want to congratulate the devs on the first non-Euclidean enemy. Of course, that is implying that you can see him, because the grapple attack makes that a little difficult, just like doing literally anything else. So if you do get grappled, get ready to convert, because God can't help anymore. And because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he slams that subscribe and smashes that like button. Oh, nice. God fucking damn it. Kids, please never become YouTubers. I finally understand it now. In order to beat the YouTubers, we have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, oh but it's the only God. way. Go, go, gadget allegations. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think his channel's gonna recover. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome to Claire yeah. Daloon. Such a calm level. Very peaceful. Do not knock on the doors. Right, I really appreciate the uh, shit. Watch out, I'm coming through. The ambience. For you see, the church demands a sacrifice, and the only way to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three. To do this, we have to calmly and meticulously break into your house. And after gathering all three of the balls, we finally unlock the power to jump through the window. Good to see that I'm using my time wisely. Oh, fuck, here I come. And then, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, hey. I thought it would be obvious, brother. After all, I am you, but stronger. You aren't the only one who's after blood, brother. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little bit fast, you know, just kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on, Bloods or Crips? I will be joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. The gimmick for V2 is that he is completely wacko. He moves like you, shoots like you, and everything that you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you, except dodge. Because that would be weird. Needless to say, this fight is very difficult. Mainly because V2 is so fast, he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal, because hitting him up close is a Parkinson simulation. I just want to fucking shoot him. Human brains are not fucking built for this. We're supposed to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've got a little rusty, brother! That was really good. That was really good. Every game, I feel like, has a part where you have to, like, fight yourself. Uh, and it's typically my least favorite level mm -hmm. in a game. I like I don't want to fight myself. I want to fight other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to be me. And it, I really hate the ones where fighting yourself is the pinnacle. Yeah. Like the end thing. It was me all along. But in the future and evil. One game that did it pretty well was when you don't uh was Devil May Cry 4. Where you don't fight yourself, but you fight Dante. Right. And you just repeatedly get your ass fucking kicked. Exactly. You do not. Win that fight. <laughs> it's a struggle, yes. You know, what, you know what game does it really well? It's not like the ending fight of the area. It is just something you do. Hmm. Elden Ring. Okay. And because the model works so well, it's pretty cool. He uses like all your equipment and stuff like that. Oh, that would piss me off so bad. Yeah. Like I, I specifically cultivated this build to be good against everybody except myself. You know? It's decision making is uh, interesting, yeah. but when it works well, it's like, all right, I'm pretty strong. Right. And then you're like, wait a minute, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that something is wrong with my copy of DMC. There's this annoying motherfucker inside of it. You think you can best me? After all- Shut up. Overall though, the beauty of this fight is that it is simple, but complicated. Simple in that he has your moveset, but complicated in that he has your moveset. Don't worry though, you'll get a lot of practice with him. Over and over and over again. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Just a fucking Okay, I get it. But honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Now Yo, excuse me, I have a GoPro to throw into the fucking sun. Go, go, gadget car bomb. Damn. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket is pissing off again. Hey, you did. Uh, it looks like he forgot his arm. I don't know if this is legal in California. And then you steal it. So the new arm is a bit funky, a bit monkey. It comes with many utilities that you don't want, but what it is good for is reducing the enemy into their base particles. You better not wow. catch these hands because now they're chambered for 12 gauge. The only downside is that uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. 
You're so honestly, enemy. it's fucking dog shit, and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome, everyone, to the Allure okay. of Lust. I am already installing Azraelena. It's this game about chips, and you can marry children. So, after many fistings <laughs> in the sewers, we make it to the bounce pad Not and enter a... Uh, Cyberpunk. That's right, we're in Night City now. Wake the dog up, Samurai. Hey. Here we've got all the amenities of a dystopia. Street Warfare, Amazon Training Video, <laughs> Nightmare Obelisk, The Corpse of King Minos, and of course, oh. Death Trampoline. <laughs> I, um, having fun there, guys? Because I'm having a blast. V, I've got a job for you. Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to mind. Well, this level's word is verticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, when the enemies work, I have discovered their only weakness. Slight altitude difference. This place will see us ascending the MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending down the, uh, shaft of lust. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme- Did you know that in romance novels, they often refer to a man's penis as a shaft? I- and you mentioned that to me a couple times, yeah? Uh, he wrote, he said shaft of lust, and I was like, yeah, the penis of lust. It's a <laughs> penis you can ride. Theme of verticality continues again as we make our way through an actual nice neighborhood. They, uh, gentrified the zombies. So to uh, beat this level, we have yeah. to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also nice. has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the most important uh, thing in this level is the railgun. Oh my god, the railgun. This That's is the best thing in the entire see. game, as you can That's see. Amazing. And it comes in three unique flavors. Yeah. Piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast, and of Baja course, Blast. the drill. Nobody uses the drill, but that is just the beginning because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce this it off grenades ridiculous. to nuke the planet, what? and most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic to you, but we would have to consult the diagrams. If you would like to know more, all you have to do is watch an 18 minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously guys, where's the uh, where's the exit? I want to get off Mr. Minos' wild run. Hello everyone, Tom Scott here, and today I am trapped at the south side of Chicago. Alright yeah. guys, welcome back to uh, sheer heart attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the kind of verticality where you're locked in a corn maze. You see, the layer is a metaphor for my sanity. Always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. It has so much texture. I can't believe Minos can use creative mode. Fucking doors stuck. D -d door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh god, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation, as well as making me feel a certain way. If only it wasn't annoying as fuck. And once dispatched, she will, um, she will explode. You know what? All this violence is making me crave some secrets. But don't worry, this won't be anything like the last two. Those were not painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That way we can skip the level again. This shit always ends well. Bro, oh, there is so much footage for this. Yeah. No, oh, no, you, you wow. can't do this to me. I don't, I, no I, I don't want to be here. I think now's a good time to mention that you can buy body pillows from the Ultra Kill store. She here. tells you about how you're late for school and uh, the human mind is an evolutionary maladaptation. We need to destroy the left wing using facts and logic. Hello everyone, Dennis Prager here. God has told me the age of consent is too high. So after we finish debating liberal snowflakes on the internet, what? we finally decide to fix the aspect ratio. At least one of us has purpose in life. By the way, I'm playing an action game. So, uh, welcome back to The Climax. Thanks. This level takes place in the wonderful New York interview. Metro okay. System. We're here to investigate reports of the Rat Men. Also, uh, nice. the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker. They just forgot to set a cooldown. Don't worry, though. It is literally faster to B-hop instead. Gotta work on my trainless percent speed run. That's upsetting. I don't like the implications of this. Welcome oh. to the, uh, boss fight. King Midos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a very <laughs> simple fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Midos can juju on that beat. But ultimately, every attack juju is fair and telegraphed, beat. which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do is help him find his car keys. Go, go, gadget, revolver. Finger Don't worry, straight. I'm no stranger to fistings in the subway. All we have to do now is uh, <laughs> offer a whole pizza to the rat god. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Wiener Compression Day. The fuck? God damn it, Jacqueline. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. 
What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Bugs Life. And today we're going to be living the 510 experience. King Minos is uh, kind of a big deal around here. Killing him is going to be a tall order. This battle is deceptively simple since his main attack is literally just punching you. These hands have graduated from hitbox to hit tesseract, but that isn't all. Call right now and I will find you. Turns out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which upon contact reduces your HP to one. Yo, hold up. Did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger he will become. Of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you, because there are just too few things in this fight, and not enough of them give me nightmares. I think your cells are a bit too far apart, but I fixed that for you. This is the wow. kind of game where, at every possible turn, I have said to myself, wouldn't it be cool if? And the answer is always yes. So when I tell you that, um, you can parry this man, it's basically what? the rule instead of the exception. This is the coolest thing you can do in a video game. Yeah, it makes me feel like an anime protagonist. Yeah. Game devs take yeah. notes. This is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere. And also, uh, myself. You know it's a good boss when it has a space program. In summary, you have to try to make this fight boring, and even then, you might not succeed. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a dead horse to beat, and his name is Minos. Ah, that's really good. That's oh no, I don't think I like where this oh, is going. Oh, Welcome back to the protagonist-shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got Ew. smelly enemies. We've got belly enemies. We've got to get out of the small intestine. Yeah, this Please. looks, uh, medically accurate. Man's got eyes on the inside. This level Ew. is an absolute gauntlet, specifically made to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to <laughs> understand the game inside and out. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite part of the body. What Winchester Mystery know? House. Right. This shit is like Nutty Putty K for Osmosis Jones. <laughs> this is definitely me when I fill the double gold cup with the Slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just like Persona 5. Now, I know that Minos' polygonal stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this yeah. point, I'm used to it. I can never take back the things I've seen. It is a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why, yes, I do edit my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? <laughs> hey there, my flesh fans. Welcome back to the, uh, cool game where things are normal. What? Turn back. No. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. For what purpose do you trample upon this palace, machine? I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy, machine. But wow. for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Okay. <laughs> it appears that your choice is made. As the righteous yes, hand of the Father, I will beat you back into silicon. I think someone oh, has daddy damn. issues. I do not have daddy issues. I I'm a special fucking boy! <laughs> Gabriel Jack Cat. I will write the final story in your blood machine! Oh. Nice. Welcome everyone to Bible Study Time. We're yeah. learning about stoning. The important lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. <laughs> this angel is faster than you, hits harder than you, teleports behind you, and is overall a massive sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he fell from heaven. Yeah. It is very important to understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra kill boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression is not going to cut it this time. We okay. need to use patience and also open heart surgery. This means yeah. that learning his attack patterns is key, and so is abusing iframes like a drunk stepdad. This copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is psychotic. Every combo yeah. can be dodged if you are good at the game. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was hitting the cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. <laughs> Excuse me? Damn. And if that wasn't enough for you, Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. You are this machine! You are not punk! You are not fucking saying. Overall, though, this fight really makes you feel like you're fighting an angel, because this shit is an act of God. But personally, I think it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a God, and his name is Money. <laughs> Damn. How can this be bested by this? This Coco? I'm actually a Nikon. <laughs> you insignificant fuck! This is not a Oh, may my. your L's be many and your bitches few. Oh 
Dude. Has this one abandoned the creator? Heresy! It is unworthy of the holy light. Gabriel, you stand accused of losing to a fucking camera. But cancel my devotion <laughs> is absolute. <laughs> the machine was enough. You have 24 hours before the Father's light leaves your body. Yeah. And then you will die. A husk. A thing. I suggest that you prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes, Council. Good. Alright. Man. He got really into that at the end. Sick. Sick theme too. I got so absorbed like the last six minutes of yeah. that video. Yeah. I still could not tell you what the fuck this game is about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't, yeah. The game looks very fun. It's a weird mix of like Doom. Got some Doom elements in there, and like. The worst fan fiction you've ever written. Don't be worried about spoilers. Don't watch the, don't look at this video and be like, oh man, I I don't want the, the storyline of this to be spoiled for me because I'm super vested in that. You just, you, it's not spoiled. You boot it up and go like, man, where's, where's the genocide? <laughs> it's so much darker when I watched the review. But it's, it's a great way. Like I love how he sees the videos and I love watching his process of making them because as you watch more of his videos, you can see the yeah. thought process and how he makes those jokes. And some references he makes, I'm like, dude, I don't know what the fuck. Like, right. how did you get to there? Right. It's so funny when you think about it, like it makes sense, but like, damn, it's 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 crazy. Man. He goes deep and he goes there. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? He does not hold back. Absolutely. Yeah. I enjoyed this video. Uh, would it make me play the game? No, because I have a headache now. But <laughs> <laughs> if you would play the game or have played the game, definitely talk to me about it in the comments below. In addition to leaving your reaction requests and recommendations, husband, yes. thank you so much for joining me. I oh, really appreciate it. I'm so it. glad you brought me for this, dude. I, <laughs> I honestly enjoyed this so much. Maxwell is like one of those things where like I sit around and I think about the jokes after like, damn, oh shit, I missed something. Right. Like, if you take a second to think, you're lost. Yeah. You're already behind 15 steps. It's so good, man. If I don't see you guys before the holiday, I yeah. hope you guys enjoy it in the way that makes you the happiest. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skin lit. Should get my grandmother to play this game. <laughs> <laughs>